What's up everybody, Dropping Gaming here. So, I don't know why, but it seems to happen all the time now to me, is whenever I make a video on a certain topic, the next day we finally get some new information uh, regarding that specific topic that pretty much reveals everything I just, you know, talked about. And the same thing kind of like happened today, because Game Informer just revealed an hour ago um, that the month of February is going to be the month of Uncharted 4 Thieves and for them. And that means that we're going to get a lot of exclusive interviews, details, information about the game, on not just only their website um, but also on their newest Game Informer issue for, for you know that same month of course and we already got a few teasers uh, specifically a video also came out where Northrop themselves talked for a little bit about you know uh, uh, specific things you know regarding the game and we already learned a few details that I just had to mention and make a quick video about not going to make it too long because I've pretty much talked about literally everything there is to talk about already um, but no just to mention exactly what uh, got confirmed and one thing in specific that I thought was a little sad but at the same time I kind of saw it coming so let's start off with a little text that describes pretty much what this game is going to be about and what Game Informer means to be sharing with us, um, you know, in that month of February. So it says, Uncharted 4 Thieves End takes place three years after the events of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, and Drake's life has changed significantly. Our cover story reveals what Nathan Drake has been up to, what conflicts he's facing, and why he got back into the treasure hunting life. We also saw an extended version of the PlayStation Experience demo, showcasing more gameplay and an extra scene between Drake and Sam that teases more of what's at stake. Find out Naughty Dog's approach to a new gen Uncharted game and how it's pushing the boundaries of the hardware to create the most trying adventure yet. Nathan Drake has secrets and this entry promises to expose them. So that's kind of already telling us a few things, most notably that the game takes place three years after Uncharted 3, so that's uh, something that we didn't know of yet and we were kind of like speculating about how long is that time gap going to be. Well, now we know three years it is. Um, and also that Drake's brother's name has now finally been confirmed. Talked about it yesterday, uh, you know, in that video. He's called Sam so you know now you know it once again I thought Stan uh, kind of like suited the, the, the character better the way he looks but what you know it's just their choice of course and whatever I'm fine with that um, and then there is that video that I just talked about where Northrop quickly explains a few things about the game and Bruce Trady first of all kind of like guaranteed us not to worry that the game is still going to be very light-hearted and that you shouldn't worry about the approach being a little darker or that it is going to be super dark all of a sudden that's not happening Uncharted stays Uncharted it's just definitely going to take maybe a slightly different approach it might get a little uh, you know darker or stuff but people simply shouldn't worry about that and I think that's something I've been saying for a while now as well you know like have faith in them they can do an amazing job here they know what they're doing for sure uh, but the final thing I wanted to talk about is something that I thought was a pretty important thing and something that we've also been speculating about for quite a while now um, and that is is this Uncharted game going to be the final game in the series and here's a quick quote I wanted to read and this is specifically what Neil Druckmann said in the video he said we're trying to take everything Nathan Drake has done and who he is and we're trying to find closure to that story that's really challenging and comes with a lot of stress so once again it's maybe not completely fully you know telling us that this is the final Uncharted game but I think it pretty much says it all especially when you also think about how the game is called a thief's end you know it sure it might refer to actually multiple things I also think it refers to um, you know Nathan Drake getting out finally or whatever may happen to him but that it's going to be the final game and Nolan North himself as well said that after the E3 trailer uh, when asked about it that he thought Naughty Dog in, you know like intended for this to be the final game in the series and now with Neil Druckmann once again stating here that they're trying to find closure to Nathan Drake's story um, kind of says it all you know they intend for this to be the final Uncharted game and that may not mean that you know uh, a certain developer for example might you know still not be able to take it over but um, yeah once again for Naughty Dog this is the final Uncharted game I'm sure of that this is what they want to be the final game in the series and that's um, you know a little sad at the same time I can understand it and if they go out with a bang if they go out with what is going to be the best Uncharted game in the series then I will be completely fine with that decision um, and yeah I wish them all the best and I hope that this game can pull off to be such an amazing game because you know I've wanted to see a game that lives up to the hype I have wanted to see you know the true sequel to you know Uncharted 2 which is my favorite game of all time my favorite game in the series as well 
well. I've wanted to see that for such a long time and I really hope Uncharted 4 can manage to beat that specific game. So with that being said, I would like to know your thoughts in the comments of course. What do you think about this decision? Do you think that this actually is the final game in the series or might a different developer uh, actually, you know, still pick it up? And then with that being said, I would like to thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you again next time.